y'all it's Donna from Donna Gales Designs and I'm back for another tutorial for you guys so in today's video I'm remaking an older video of mine with the hydro dip marble pens um, this was a request of video because back when I first started my microphone wasn't that great and you guys couldn't really hear me so I wanted to go ahead and redo that video for you guys so everything I use in today's video will be linked down in the description below just like always along with my links to my social medias in case you want to follow me there so let's go ahead and get started okay guys I forgot to start the video off with how I took the pen apart but I really just unscrewed it I'm using the Makerflow pen today took that barrel off, put it back together and put it to the side. I went ahead and sanded my barrel. I sprayed it with 91% rubbing alcohol and wiped it down with a paper towel. And I just wrapped some painter's tape around one of my wooden dowels just to get it to stay on there for me. And I went ahead and painted it with Rust-Oleum 2X flat white. And then we went ahead and started dipping. So I just got this cheap glass from Dollar Tree and I filled it with water and I'm just uh, dropping in the different colorants that I'm using and these are all um, Mar Marabou Easy Marble paints. They're oil based so once your pens dry you will definitely want to seal them. I like to use Rust-Oleum 2X Glossy Clear for mine but please use whatever works best for you when i'm done with one pen i'll take a paper towel and wipe all inside that water and around that glass to get that remaining colorant out of the water toss the paper towel in garbage um, and then go ahead on to my next one so i am showing you a couple different ones you know here i did not videotape all the pens i made to i think it was like four or five or whatever it was um and there's different things that you could do like not one pen will ever come out the same you know so and I usually when I'm taking my popsicle stick here and I'm gently gliding it from the outside of the cup to the inside and when I like the kind of design that that it's making in there that's when I'll dip my pen all the way down and swirl it around now um, this one is pretty this little aqua turquoisey kind of color um, so I did all those I let them completely dry and then I sealed them with the Rust-Oleum 2X Glossy Clear. So then I'm going to go in, I like to use skim coat resin, UV resin. I've tried other resins on Amazon and other companies and I just wasn't like it. They always came out tacky for me. Um, so this one from Resin Rockers is skim coat. This one works fabulously for me. And I also went ahead and got their UV lamp because I, I don't know, I guess between the other resins and um, cheap UV light that I previously bought on Amazon. This combination works really well for me. So on these pens, I wanted to show you a couple of options. So on one, um, like that brown, that first brown one, we're just putting the resin on. And then on another one, I just, when I just want a tiny bit of sparkle, not for it to cover anything, but just to give it some sparkle, I like to use Flicker from the Glitter Grind. So that's what you saw me in the previous pen putting on there. Um, and then I'm also going to show you how to put a decal on. I only put a decal on one of these pens, but I did want to show you how to do that. So once my um, pens are dry, and what works for me might not work for you, but what I usually do is I put mine on 36 watts because my lamp from Resin Rockers, you get to pick what wattage you want and how long and I do mine for 60 seconds on both sides and I just got those pink little clips from uh, I think it was Dollar Tree um, just to stand my pen up so I don't have to sit there and hold the pen and then once all those were dry and I gave them a good sand and uh, sprayed them down with some rubbing alcohol and wiped them down and then I went ahead and put that decal just like as you would if you're a tumbler if you make tumblers I use transfer tape to get it on there and I put my final coats of resin on there and once that was done I put my pen back together I'm taking out the parts that we put away earlier unscrewing it just putting that barrel back if you happen to get resin on the inside just take your exacto knife and get it out it's super easy to get out no big deal um I put it back together and then these were done. You can also do high uh, Dawn power wash spray over them too for that kind of design, but I didn't do that today, guys. Um, didn't have time. So I did want to do this quick video for you. I hope you enjoyed today's video and I hope you guys have a fabulous day. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.